Hello, I'm Father James Kabicki. I've been a Jesuit since 1971 and a priest since 1983. And from time to time, people come up to me and thank me for being a priest, for saying yes to God's call. And I generally respond to their gratitude by expressing my own, telling them I'm grateful for their prayers and the prayers of all those lay people and Carmelite sisters and others who have supported me over the years. I'm convinced that I wouldn't be a priest today without that prayer support. So my vocation and my perseverance over the past 30 years is not something that I've accomplished or can take credit for. It's a gift from God that has come to me through the powerful prayers of many, many others. The last 30 years haven't been easy, but I know that every vocation, and perhaps especially marriage, isn't easy. There have been challenges over these years. The other Jesuit, my classmate with whom I was ordained, left the priesthood. The sins of brother priests have tainted the priesthood in many ways, leading some people to look upon me with suspicion. The morale of many of my brother priests is very low, and that's a concern. In fact, in the past year in the archdiocese in which I live, two priests took their own lives. Many people are suffering in the world, but Pope Francis directs our attention this month in his general prayer intention to suffering priests. Last Palm Sunday, in his homily, Pope Francis said that every one of us has an enemy, the devil, who attacks us and tries to take our hope away from us. I think this is especially true for priests because the words from the prophet Zechariah, which Jesus quoted at the Last Supper, according to Matthew chapter 28, verse 31, have come to pass time after time. Strike the shepherd and the flock of sheep will be scattered. One of the strategies of the devil is to attack Christ's shepherds, the bishops and priests of the church. Thus, Pope Francis also said, quote, Dear lay faithful, be close to your priests with affection and with your prayers that they may always be shepherds according to God's heart. End quote. That heart was revealed by Jesus. His sacred heart is filled with love and is strong. We pray that all priests, but especially those who are experiencing difficulties, may take heart. Take the heart of Jesus and find their comfort, support, and confirmation. In the words of this month's general prayer intention, we pray that priests who are struggling in any way may, quote, find comfort in their suffering, support in their doubts, and confirmation in their fidelity. Amen.